What's up, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Blamange, and we're going back to their 1982 album, Happy Families. Once again, shout out to Han Solo. And the next tune is Cruel, and I don't mean that as a qualitative assessment. I mean, that's actually the name. Cruelty is um, vicious behavior, that which is beyond any semblance of reasonable proportion um, and perhaps of specifically a sadist nature. At the very least, there's a desire to inflict more punishment, harm, or destruction than would, again, be more um, understandable in a given context. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, the psycho-emotional disposition of cruelty is found far too often in the annals of history and in the news headlines of the present and probably, unfortunately, um, the as-of-yet experiences of future people. In any case, uh, let's see what Blumange has to say about cruel, which is, strictly speaking, the adjective form of the concept. Here we go, this is Blumange Cruel from the 1982 album Happy Families, which suddenly seems like a very amusing irony. Oh, that's right. 
Atmosphere, a bit mysterious, almost a bit eastern sounding, and I don't know if that's because some of those they sound plucked, like a bit again rhythmic, percussive, but also melodic. There's like a layer that sort of sounded like a, a xylophone, so um, a really interesting and mysterious sounding tune. Lyrically, I'm not sure. Again, some some lines that I caught of interest, which sound. Um, a bit dire, but maybe not overt cruelty. Like I didn't hear, you know, anything that was uh, malicious or willfully um, pain-inducing. So I'm not quite sure what to make of what I caught. But um, and admittedly, vocally, a really interesting performance, but not his like most, you know, ferocious and intense. Uh, certainly. Um, so yeah, it was an interesting one, and one that I felt was maybe a bit outside some of the elements that I've come to know they can do or that they sound like. Now again, I'm still exceedingly early in the larger Blumange journey, but um, yeah, ultimately this one felt a bit different than a couple of the others so far, which uh, again, I enjoy albums that have a, a consistent atmosphere, but I also enjoy albums that you know go in some, some different alleyways. So um, yeah, bottom line, um, a unique sounding group, like already it feels like, you know, the way they do synth pop and um, this, you know, early 80s sound, it has a different flavor than a lot of other groups that otherwise you could say fit into a similar category. So, um, and indeed, I think I've said that a few times already, so I promise not to repeat myself too much, but um, yeah, going through their music is a really interesting thing because they don't sound like a lot of other groups even as they sort of sound like a lot of other groups, that makes any sense. Uh, in any case, I look forward to comments um, about this one lyrically and sonically. As I said, shout out to Han Solo, and there are more albums that we can go through after this, though there are also, I think there's like 12 inch mixes. And let me see what else is in here. Um, yeah, there's some extended mixes, seven and 12 inch instrumental. There's a bunch for Feel Me, which, you know, people will remember that tune was sort of like, uh, a threshold, like a, a changing point in terms of uh, how keen or like how excited I was about this new deep dive. Not that I was never, you know, that I wasn't keen for it, but yeah, that one was definitely one that hit me strongly. So we'll go through at least a couple of those. Um, and ultimately, uh, we do have an extended version of Living on the Ceiling, a 12 inch mix at God's Kitchen. So yeah, as I said, lots of stuff to go through. Uh, shout out to Han Solo, and yeah, let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Peace.